Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Wednesday Read Alouds. Today we are reading The Adventures of Beakle, the Unimaginary Friend, and that's by Dan Santat. So that means Dan Santat wrote the story and he drew the pictures. So let's see what happens in The Adventures of Beakle, the Unimaginary Friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends are created. Do you see him coming down from a rainbow? Kerplunk. Here they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. So look, he's joined other imaginary friends, but they're still unimaginary because a child hasn't thought of them yet. They're just waiting. Every night he stood under the stars hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. Can you try to think of what you might name an imaginary friend? What special name would you give them? He waited and waited many nights. Oh look, there's a cat that's been chosen. Whee! But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. Maybe his friend was playing sports, or reading books, or learning guitar, or learning to juggle, or learning to bake. Maybe that's why they hadn't imagined him yet. So rather than waiting, rather than waiting, he did the un- imaginable. He left the world of imaginary friends. He sailed through unknown waters and faced scary things. But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. Here he is up above and look what's down below, a giant whale. And look, a smaller whale, but even the smaller whale is much bigger than his boat. He sailed until he reached the real world. Hey, that's where we live. The real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to listen to music. And everyone, everyone needed a nap. <laughs> then he finally saw something familiar. Can you see what he might have seen? Right over here, looks like it's a tale of an imaginary friend. He saw something familiar and he followed. Ooh, he had a good feeling about this place. He looked everywhere, through the slide, over the sandbox, over here, over there. Hmm, but he could not find his friend. He climbed up to the top of the tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. Look, he's still up there, just waiting. He thought about how far he had come and how long he had waited, and he felt very sad. Then he heard a voice below. Hello, hello, hello. Who could it be? Hello. She gave him a picture. What do you think the picture has on it? Hmm. Whoa, look, it's a picture of him. Her face was familiar and friendly. And there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Neither of them had made a friend before. But after a while, they realized they were perfect together. Look, they're giggling. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alice. Hmm, what's my name? Beagle. I'm Beagle. Hi, Beagle. And they 
hugged. Beekle finally has a name. Beekle and Alice had many new adventures and they shared their snacks. <laughs> they told funny jokes. The world began to feel a lot less strange. Oh, and look, is that the imaginary friend from before? The one with the tail we saw in the city? Look, they're meeting back up and I think Alice is making another friend too. And together they did the unimaginable. <laughs> the end. What do you think they did? What happens at the end, I wonder? It looks like they're pretending something. Are they going to the world of unimaginary friends? It looks like they might be. The end. Now, do you think you can think of, maybe you already have an imaginary friend, but if you don't, what would your imaginary friend look like? Maybe you could draw it today or write a story about your imaginary friend today. Here, the story ends with some pictures of different people's imaginary friends. So, your imaginary friend might look like a person, but it might even look like a puzzle piece. Or, oh, where's the drum one? Oh, here's the drum. Down here, the guitar player has a drum with arms. They could look any way you want to. A giant fish, a cat, a snake, a bunny. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> a scarecrow, anything. So think today about what your imaginary friend might look like, and then give it a name. Thank you for reading with me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you all next week. Bye-bye.